Hey everybody, RJ here. <laughs> this is a test. Uh, this is not going to be the best video you've ever seen. Certainly not in what usually podcasts are listened to. I don't even know what I'm doing. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. I'm also talking very fast. <laughs> Welcome to me. I'm very, very, a very fast talker. I will try to slow down. Um, good morning. Um, I'll probably edit this down. Um, what, what am I going to talk about? I don't know. Um, I, I really like to talk, <laughs> as anyone who knows me well um, could tell you. Um, I have a lot of opinions. That's why I've called this RJ without opinion. That's actually my dad. Um, he, he likes to say that about me. Um, he'll say... Um, this is RJ without opinion, but it's sarcastic because I am incredibly, incredibly opinionated. Um, <laughs> I speak my mind, maybe a little too much, but that's, I guess, why I wanted to start this. Um, um, welcome to my podcast. I am RJ, and... What am I going to talk about today? It's funny, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, and I don't really know what this one's going to be, kind of non sequitur, um, but I do want to, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit of everything. My opinion on the world, music, movies, anything, I have a lot of opinions. I want to go on record saying that I do not... Um, want, want to say that I know everything because I don't. I know that Jesus knows everything, and that's all I need to know. Um, I just am very opinionated. <laughs> um, so I hope this doesn't come across harsh. Uh, I do, my sarcasm tends to fall flat. Um, so hopefully. And I honestly, if people want to be offended, that's my whole life. Everyone's offended by everything I say. I'm, I'm used to it. I'm genuinely, genuinely used to it. Like, oh, that's a little better. A little less reflection. More shadow, though. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> um, I'm used to people not caring for my opinion. What am I going to do? <laughs> that's life, right? Um, I guess that's why I'm talking to you guys, whoever's listening. Um... So this is my introduction. If I'm talking too fast, I actually, this is kind of, this is a test. I'm not really, this isn't really what it's going to be like me just kind of going, um, 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 but I really wanted to give you guys a taste of what I sound like when I talk in case you're like, holy moly, chill girl. Um, <laughs> I would be curious what you guys think. Um, and again, I know that there's reflections and crap on my glasses, and I don't know if I'm going to be fully solve that. It's life with glasses. I could do some without glasses. I mean, I, these are for far away. Um, I, I've made some of my, my Liberty Hoffman Studios, you know, the music videos without my glasses. I've, I, can, I can function without glasses. I actually, maybe I should do without glasses a little bit, because <laughs> just look at the reflection. Holy crap. That's terrible. Um, but the... Um, yeah, so this is just a test. This is, I don't know, I'm still working on the concept of if I'm going to do this, and I guess if this works. Um, I just want to say thanks to all the people on Twitter who um, who answered my poll of me asking, would you listen to me talk? <laughs> so, <laughs> hi! <laughs> um, this is certainly... I don't know. I'm going to have to work on this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm used to doing, like, silent acting or bad acting. People say it's great, but I don't know, in my music videos. So being being pensive, as people like to say, um, <laughs> um, being, I, I don't know, I guess I stare up into the left a lot, but a lot of that is left over from the 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 way that I've had to hold my head very stiffly because of the last 13 years of vertigo and all this stuff. So I still have a lot of old habits that actually I still need to use because I get dizzy easily. Um, and so I, um, I, I don't know, like in a lot of my videos, especially the early ones, you can see me kind of like doing this <laughs> because it, it, it genuinely, 
I, I couldn't do more than that. It was it was bad. And that's something that I guess I want to talk about, too. I, I do want to bring up health and really maybe even create a space for, like, if people want to talk about um, hidden illnesses or any illnesses, even if they're obvious. But I feel like there's there needs to be something said about people who struggle with stuff that people can't usually see on the surface. I mean, people look at me and they would never know that I have chronic um, migraines, chronic vertigo. Um, for the last 13 years, I've been, it's been, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, it's been intense. <laughs> but Jesus is in control, and that is what I cling to. That is the only reason I'm alive. The only reason I'm talking to you right now is Jesus and him alone. God knows best. And I don't just say that, I mean it. I believe it, I know it. Um, but I, I, let me tell you, it's it's hard not to talk about my health a lot because um, I it's every day. Like I literally, I wake up, I woke up this morning with a weird like half dream and then part of my focal aware seizure thing kicked in. And let me tell you, waking up with that is from hell. I hate it. <laughs> I, it, it's scary. <laughs> I live life in a really weird bubble these days because it's just been, there's been a lot. <laughs> and some of my symptoms have gotten worse. I've got new symptoms. Sometimes I'll just wake up and have a new symptom. That's always fun. And don't even get me started on doctors because I've been through like several doctors. I've, I've, um, I've seen a lot of people, specialists, the, my, my best, was the godsend that was my physical therapist. Um, <laughs> uh, I love you, Denise. She probably will never see this, but um, she was amazing. Um, I I thank God for her because she got me functioning to the point where I can. I mean, see me moving my head. Like, there's people in my life that they'll see me after years and they're like, wow, I haven't seen you move your head that much. And I'm like, yeah, I know, it's improvement. Like, cause like back in like 2010, when, like, I literally had, the room was spinning like this for two solid weeks. Like, my entire vision was just spinning. Um, like, I'd gone to my friend's house, and um, we'd, um, we were watching one of my favorite movies, <laughs> the second Narnia movie, um, my favorite movies of all time. And the room started spinning, and I was feeling nauseous, and it was really strange. And the room just wouldn't stop spinning, and I laid down, I thought, oh, I need to put my feet above my head. Like, I didn't know what I didn't know what to do, you know what I mean? Like, and I, um, and then I ended up, well, I got sick. I don't want to be gross, but I got sick. And then I had a wretched night. And then the next morning, the room was still spinning. Like, it, the room didn't stop spinning for two solid weeks. It didn't stop spinning. Um, that is a time that I, I basically slept a lot of it away because my only relief was sleep. <laughs> And I remember just praying and crying and praying and crying. Every time I woke up, there, I'd just be watching, like, the ceiling. I couldn't watch movies. I couldn't watch, um, I couldn't, like, I was listening to audiobooks and staring at the wall and willing it to stop. It would, like, change direction, too. It, it wouldn't stop, but it would, like, reverse loop. It would, uh, that was, I hope no one ever has experienced that. But unfortunately, I have read story. I know there's plenty of people who experienced similar things. This camera angle is terrible. Um, <laughs> I'll work on this. But, um, so I guess it doesn't, it doesn't help when people don't believe me. And there's a lot of people that don't believe me or they give me the age old, oh, trust God harder and you'll be healed. And I'm like, you know what? I actually get, I get hate for this. I, um, I had to come to grips a long time ago that um, if God doesn't want to heal me, I have to be okay with that. I have to be okay with that. Well, otherwise, I'd literally just spend my days screaming bloody murder because it's hard to live inside of this skin. <laughs> it's hard. And I hope this helps somebody that maybe me talking about my my problems might help somebody like there's a lyric from um matt hammett the lead singer of sanctus real uh wrote a song um called um i think it's called let go it's on his album um every falling tear and he um there's a lyric where it says please don't let my suffering go to waste and that 
that's something that I feel in the depths of my soul. I think of that lyric a lot. Like, I literally pray that to Jesus. I say, please, God, don't let my suffering go to waste. So I guess part of me wants maybe some of this can be me really being honest about my health and maybe that that would genuinely that that would help somebody else that's going through similar stuff or even if it's utterly different but you feel like you're heard because whoever you are whoever whoever you are out out there um i i know that i can't i can't um wrap my head around um everybody's hurt but it hurts me that other people just anyone anywhere are dealing with stuff that the doctors can't figure out like me like the doctors can't figure it out you've you've been tested you've had eegs and mris and nothing <laughs> i've been to physical therapy over and over i've i was on a medication that screwed me up real bad and i'm still feeling the after effects of that i mean look at how pale i am i look awful <laughs> And my, as I, we might as well just address my, my teeth. They're terrible. Welcome to my disgusting face in life. I, I'm shocked people don't bring it up more on my, my music videos that I put on, on this channel. Um, genuinely, um, I'm shocked. I, what can I say? I have bad teeth. I've had, this is another, I have so many things. This is another thing I've dealt with since I was a kid. When I hit, I want to say, like my teeth used to turn in my mouth. They still do sometimes. I'll, I'll feel like this ache that most people would say would be a toothache. And it's actually just my teeth moving, shifting in my mouth. I have a tiny, tiny little, you can't, on camera it doesn't look the same, but like in person, like I've had dentists be like, what? you have a tiny mouth? What in the world? Like I genuinely have a teeny tiny mouth. Um, what can I say? <laughs> um, so yeah, so that, that, that out of the way. Am I talking too fast? Please, please tell me. I want to know because I actually tell people in my life, I'm like, I don't know how fast I'm talking and sometimes I think I'm articulating and it's not. I always think of um, Jason Dunn from Hawk Nelson. There was a uh, behind the scenes of the um, uh, uh, Friend Like That music video and he's, he's talking into the camera, like the behind the scenes camera, and he's like, pronounce every word, articulate your words. And I think of that often, but I'm, I'm so terrible at it. He's so good at singing like that, which I think singing Hawk Nelson has helped me a little bit because it's like he has to, he pronounces every word. He really does. He pronounces every word. I love that. But um, um, so yeah, so if this has been any, any entertainment to you, again, video quality is not great. I'm gonna have to work on the angle and my eye line. I know my eye line is trash. I should probably, well, I'm looking at, I don't know what I should be looking at. I'm gonna have to work on my eye line. All right, I'm looking this way and I'm looking that way. Do you like me looking this way? Looking this way or do you like me looking that way? Probably gonna have to go with the first one. We'll have to work on my eye line. I mean, I'm probably going to be talking and staring at the wall, so maybe I won't worry about it. But when I'm looking head on, I should work on that because I know it's it's easier. Well, I don't know. Is it creepy if I'm looking directly into your eyes or would you rather me look kind of adjacent? Because that that's I know I get uncomfortable if someone's looking directly at me in a video, even if it's in a video form, especially if they're addressing the camera and saying to you, the viewer, it can creep me out. So let me know if that's if this is better right here, or if I'm talking to you like this, or if this is better right here, the way I've been doing it most of the video. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And this is RJ without opinion, but also very opinionated. Not a great tagline. We'll work on it. <laughs> Over and out. Thanks for listening. Bye.